Shloim Isleidis, with whom I have the privilege of learning the Lubavitch Rebbe's of Blessed Memory's teachings, and his wife Ahuva, stand out as exemplary people and parents. We are honored that they chose to put their daughters in our preschool and grateful for Ahuva's constant involvement in volunteering for Gan Chamesh. It's my great delight to introduce to you Parents of the Year, Shloimi and Ahuva Sladis. Honored and privileged to have been chosen as Gan Chamesh Parents of the Year. We'd like to sincerely thank all of you who have come to help support this remarkable organization and these extraordinary people. As Gan Chamesh Parents of the Year, we are indebted to and must express our Hakar Satov to our own parents and grandparents. They have taught us everything we know and have made us all that we are. Thank you. To be honest, I had a speech fully drafted and prepared when I received an email with topics and ideas to assist in the writing process. Attached to the email was a link to past year's presentations, and I started to browse through them. What immediately struck me was the fact that not only did everyone have nearly the exact descriptions of the Wallowicks, but it matched almost word for word what I had written. At first, I panicked. I thought how I could rephrase everything I had in my notes and tried rewriting my material. And then I realized that the reason for this repetition and consistency is because every adjective used to describe the Wallowicks is 100% true, and there's no better way to say it. From the first time I met Rabbi and Rebetzin Wallowick, I have been riveted and drawn by their boundless energy and by the warmth and love that they radiate constantly. When I first moved here from Bell Harbor, I had the opportunity to casually converse with Rabbi Wallowick and discuss a few concepts of Hasidus and Hashkafa. His Simcha Zachayim and his love for Torah immediately struck me as dynamic and sincere. I asked him if he would be able to learn with me once a week to explore these topics in more depth, and without a second of hesitation, he agreed. And then there's Rabbi Wallowick's Monday Night Chumashir at the home of Shalom and Pesi Jacobs, a truly eye-opening experience. The way he explains the Rebbe's clarifications of Rashi is always enlightening and often mind-blowing. You always leave wanting more. Thank you, Chabad. And thank you, Rabbi and Rebetzin Wallowick. May Hashem grant you continued success in all your endeavors, and may Hashem reciprocate the vast kindnesses that you provide for my family and the entire Five Towns community. Mazel Tov Rabbi Wallowick and Chani, Mazel Tov Rabbi Meir and Hadassah, and Mazel Tov to all the other honorees. One of the most moving memories I have of the Wallowicks and Chabad was after Hurricane Sandy. Amidst the flooding, power outages and freezing cold, they were there with open arms, serving hot food and providing a warm, safe haven. They even brought in a clown for some much needed entertainment and distraction. It's not only after a natural disaster that the Wallowicks and Gaisinskis are there, they are there for you always. They don't just do chesed, they define it. Bagel Babies was actually our first experience with Chabad of the Five Towns and Mor Hadassah's big vibrant smile revealed the warmth and love that is Chabad. The kids loved singing and davening and putting their kochav in shemayim and putting their penny in the tzedakah box. Hadassah's nurturing, loving care and her dynamic personality were the perfect way for my children to have their first real experience outside of their home. She has instilled within the hearts of Mati and Eliza a deep love of Torah, mitzvos and Yiddishkeit. Our Mati graduated last year from Gan Chamesh and Eliza is currently loving life in the Red Room. She loves her moras, Mora Laura, Mora Ariella and Mora Chasya. Now that Eliza's in the Red Room, she too has the privilege of having these fabulous moras, and she can't stop talking about how much fun she has in school. Every Shabbos, Eliza tells us all about the Parsha, and she knows it cold. She can't wait to tell us every detail of what she learned, and she even relates it to her everyday life. When I told her our neighbor was coming to visit, she said, for me, to visit me, because I'm sick? Like when Avram had a boo-boo? What can you say about Susie Adler and Suzanne Wallen? They are the most phenomenal directors. They always go the extra mile for everyone. At Gan Chamesh, the entire faculty goes above and beyond to ensure not only an amazing early education for our children, but also to provide a warm and loving environment where their emotional needs are met. We feel so blessed and truly fortunate to be a part of such an incredible organization as Chabad and such a wonderful school as Gan Chamesh. Mazel to mommy and daddy.